definitely something that we are not used to, the no. snow. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, we're not seeing any of that here. But, Bob, we definitely saw a gloomy weekend, lots of rain, unfortunately. We did. And, you know, back to Texas real quick, Shell. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty big state, right? You know, oh, second yeah. biggest state in the union. The entire state is seeing snow and ice. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're not alone. A good chunk of the country is seeing tremendous cold and tremendous snow and ice. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. But right now we're looking at the weather headlines. And guess what, folks? We've got more rain on the way. Hang in there. We've got two more systems we're talking about before we have nice weather as we head into next weekend. We're looking at sunshine at times as we go through the next several days. And the weekend is looking great. How long has it been since we talked about a good looking weekend? But I think next weekend is looking pretty good right now. Temperatures into the 30s and 40s. They really haven't moved much at all since Sunday. 42 in Greenville, 40 in Asheville, Anderson, 42 Greenwood at 40 degrees in Union at 39. Now we get a break from the steady rain, but you see a little bit of green showing up. That's some drizzle along with the fog right now as we zoom things out. Here's one system that gave us the rain on Sunday. Now we're looking to the west and look at that snow across the Tennessee Valley and Texas. As we just talked about, tremendous heavy snow into Texas, even along the Gulf Coast where they don't get snow and ice. They're getting it in Houston and back into New Orleans. So we're watching this area of low pressure that's heading our way, but not in the form of snow and ice, just rain. But we see more of that snow through the plains into the upper Midwest, to Missouri and Illinois. Now, this is amazing. I have never seen a winter storm warning area like this, stretching from Texas into Louisiana, into the Midwest into the northeast. This is just tremendous. This pink color indicating that winter storm warning and a winter weather advisory in the blue. And look at these temperatures. 16 below is what it is in Fargo right now. Minus six in Kansas City, minus 10 in Denver. Dallas is at 10 and Houston 29. Pretty amazing stuff. But thankfully, we're not as bad. We're not going to get in on that Arctic weather, thankfully. But Futurecast is showing rain picking up again as we go through uh, Monday morning and then as we go through the rest of Monday morning into the afternoon, we start to see the rain picking up in intensity and as low pressure nears heavier rain, maybe some thunder as we go into tomorrow evening and then more of that rain through Monday night. And then finally, we start to dry things out as we go on into your Tuesday. We start to see more in the way of sunshine as we go into Tuesday afternoon. We're dry on Wednesday. Here comes another system on Thursday. This one's more potent with heavier rain and maybe thunderstorms as low pressure heads our way on Thursday. Once again, low pressure right over the top of us. I don't think we're looking at severe weather, but certainly thunderstorms and heavy rain as we go into Thursday evening on into Friday morning. So it will be a soaker and then we finally start to dry things out as we go through time. So as we go through Tuesday, we're looking about a half inch to one inch of rain and then beyond that an additional one to two inches of rain. So by early Friday morning, we could be looking at over two to three inches of rain. Pretty amazing stuff there for tomorrow your hour by hour forecast much like Sunday we're looking at the rain temperatures only into the middle 40s 48 that would be lucky <laughs> all right wake up weather we're looking at temperatures into the upper 30s with fog and drizzle and for your Carolina sky meter for tomorrow it's a low number only a two because it will be dreary once again forecast for tonight foggy and drizzly for the upstates 38 degrees and then for the mountains 37 drizzle and fog seven day forecast of course today is president's day also washington's birthday the observation of that 45 to 55 tuesday wednesday dry thursday will be a soaker 54 and then next weekend oh beautiful sunshine 50s and colder into the mountains with rain both monday and then again on thursday and maybe a little bit of snow heading into friday morning Make sure you log on to foxcarolina.com for the latest on your forecast and the morning news coming up here in just a couple of hours. Make sure you check in with Kylie and Nicole for the very latest on this active weather show.